Welcome back. Day four of the Alma Maxo work retreat. Um, again, a beautiful day. The sun is slightly setting or slowly setting. It's kissing my face and I feel great about that. So this morning I woke up at 8.40, which is very late because usually the meditation and yoga is a lot earlier. So I was beating myself up about it a little bit. So I was trying to, I don't know, calm myself down. I felt very agitated, very angry at myself for waking up so late because I went to bed around 11.30 or something. So I don't put any alarm here. And so I was a little bit angry and it was difficult for me to let it go in a way. So I did my own meditation, my own yoga session. And as I was doing those, I, I felt like my mind was really all over the place. You know, I was really having a hard time accepting that I woke up so late. So it was interesting to observe how I was beating myself up for, I don't know, needing some more rest perhaps. So after that, I was able to process it a little bit. I went to sit at the breakfast table. I felt like still fasting somehow, so I didn't have breakfast. But being with the people and making some jokes and talking about things really helped me to let go of this insignificant start of my day. You know, you can at any point, you can decide to give your day a new energy, a new vibe, a new meaning. It doesn't mean that when you wake up with bad energy or like you know something happened you woke up too late or you messed up something or you you stepped out of bed with the wrong leg that's kind of how we say it in belgium that doesn't mean that your whole day needs to be thrown away right you can make the decision to okay let it go and today now you can always start again okay you can always start again whenever you feel like your day is not going the way you want it or you're feeling not feeling the way you want to feel you can start at this moment and take it up again and um, continue from that, that moment onwards with a different mindset, a different attitude. Let go what happened in the past, you can leave it there and you can move onwards, all right? So I was very happy about being able to, you know, just be together with the people here. And then next was work time, so we work a couple of hours each day, every day. And today I was, again, taking care of the furniture uh, project, so I made some hinges, like to, to close the trash um, it's a handmade trash bin so I did that I was making the compost area a little bit better um, we were also cleaning the space for the kitchen and the, the dining area and there was a cardboard box that was filled with massive ants <clears throat> so we tried to remove the box but he didn't know that there was ants in there and so we take the box and all the ants start to crawl in the dining area and everybody was freaking out because they were really really large and like a lot of eggs and it was like a whole colony that was sitting there people are starting to know that i take care of these things so i'm like in charge of it so everybody asks me about this type of construction work and it feels great like people know okay i need to talk to wolf if i need some practical stuff to get fixed I'm a really pretty dog uh, so that's nice to be in that role, like this responsibility and people just ask me how to how to make these things and it's, it's great to be responsible for that. Um, after that I also cut some firewood because we're gonna do a tamascal tomorrow. It's some kind of Mexican sauna, in a way it's like a dome and then you put in a lot of firewood and you create like a very hot tent where you sit together with the people. So it's um, something that I'm very curious about, I've never done that and I've heard interesting things about it so I'm curious what it will feel like what kind of experience it will be it's going to be a ceremonial experience so that is something that I'm looking forward to um, what else so after that I wanted to practice some handstands and as I was doing that I, I felt like I am getting a hang of it a little bit more and after I finished my handstand practice I was doing some stretches and and things like that and I realized I have been abusing my body for so many years like oh man like I treated my body with so much disrespect and just pushing myself every single day never being able to rest never allowing myself to, to stretch to, to just nourish my body also with movement and it was a very releasing realization I was laying down on the yoga mat and I was doing some stretches with my legs and all of a sudden I just started crying I was listening to monolink while I was doing that and I just started crying I felt like 
wow, I have abused my body for such a long time and now finally I take the time to stretch it, to move it, to, to feel good within my body, right? Because movement, movement is fun. It's actually fun. And for me, it was always like, it needs to be difficult work. It needs to feel like work and never like play or like enjoyment. And moving is fun. It's, it's a fun thing to do. And it was very releasing for me to realize that, hey, I can actually move my body in ways that I enjoy, that I like. I don't have to do push myself to lift heavy weights or I don't have to push myself to go run for 20 miles. It's not, not necessary. I can move in ways that I enjoy, like dancing or stretching or yoga or all these things. And that was very, very deep realization for me and I felt um, very good about it in a way also. So I asked one of the lovely people here who is a massage therapist if she was willing to give me a massage because I've, believe it or not, never actually taken a massage in my life <laughs> like maybe once or twice when I was younger but now like never so it's a step in the direction of taking some more care of my body in a way in a different way you know not only the resting and the, and the nutrition but also just the movement practice and so it's really nice to get in touch with that here for myself because it, it, it's something that I never take time for and uh, this is this is really helpful for me in a way so that's a great realization that I had today, which is going to, I don't know, have consequences for me in the next few days and into the future. So I am excited about exploring, you know, the movement side of things for myself, finding ways that I enjoy moving and, and, and just be healthy, you know, feel at home within my body. That is my main intention for this retreat, to feel at home within my own body. And that is slowly, day by day, happening just a little bit more. So then um, I wanted to go for a walk and as you guys may see here, I have some <laughs> band-aid because I got attacked by five dogs and one of the dogs, he bit in my calf. Um, so I just cleaned the wound. I'm a little bit worried that it might get infected or something, but I will keep a close eye on it and see what, what happens next. Um, I made it very clean. Oh, there's so many. So many insects here. I made it clean and put some isobetadine on it to make sure it heals properly. We'll see tomorrow how it looks like. Um, and then later today we're going to have an ecstatic dance session, which is something that I'm very excited about. It's just like moving without boundaries and everybody is going to be together there. So that is something I'm very, very curious about. I think I will really, really like it. It will probably look very funny, but that's the point of the ecstatic dance. You just let go and you don't judge yourself or other people. So yeah, that's going to be something that I've never done in my life and that I feel very, very excited about. So that is all for today, guys. I feel like I have been uh, sharing a few things that are happening. I hope that you are doing well wherever you are in the world. Um, I hope that you're enjoying this video journal of me here in the Alma Maxil Retreat Center. I want to thank you for your attention. I feel really grateful that you're here with me. I feel also really grateful to be here in this beautiful space for the time being. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.